Hello and welcome to another video. My name's David and this time we're going to rewind the clock a little bit to a technique I first did, well it's a good few years ago now, and that is to create a triptych. Now a triptych is an image which is divided into three equal panels. So how are we going to get those equal panels? Well we're going to be using the crop tool. So let's click on it. We're going to go down to tool options and under tool options make sure for the grid overlay we select the center one which is the rule of thirds. Let's fold this down out of the way. Coming into the image I'm going to click on the top, I'm going to drag it right the way over like this. When I release it there it is, there's the rule of thirds, there's our three equal panels. Right, how are we going to mark out these panels? Well if you come up to view we're going to first of all come down to ruler. While we're here just take note that under snap 2 it's greyed out at the moment but guides, grids and layers are all ticked. This will come into play in just a moment. But first of all let's go to ruler. Now when the ruler opens I'm going to come over to this side, coming inside our ruler, click down, hold that mouse button down. As you pull it out you can see a dotted line going vertical. I'm going to pull it out to our first line here, just waiting for it. It's just snapped to it, releasing it, and you're thinking, where is that guide line? Well, if you come up to view, come down to guides, click on it, there it is. You've got that green, that magenta line running through. Right, coming back over, repeating the process, clicking down, holding that mouse button down, dotted vertical line. Let's bring it out, just waiting for it to snap to it there, and there it is. Job done. We can now cancel our crop. So let's click on this little button here. We're now going to cut out the panels. So let's go over to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the marquee tool, but we need to go down to tool options because we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool. Now the important thing here is make sure the feather is set to zero pixels. That is important. Let's fold this down out of the way. We're going to come to the first panel and I'm going to click down. I'm going to drag it out. Look at the way, there it is, it's snapped to that guide. That is because, of course, it was ticked for snap too. There's our selection. We're now going to copy the selection using Command J or Control J. That's Command J, Control J. And there is panel number one. Right, click back on the background layer. Now that we've done this, we can come to our second panel, clicking down. Notice the way it's going down those guides once again to this area. There's our second panel for the selection. Command J, Control J, we'll copy it to a new layer, layer number two. Make sure you click on the background layer. That is important. Right, third and final panel, dragging it down into this region here. And once again, it's Command J, Control J. There are our three panels. We can now head up to view. We can come down, we can click on guides, that'll remove it. We can also come back to view and I'm just going to remove the ruler as well. Okay, to give ourselves a little bit more space around the image, we're going to click first of all on the background layer. Over to the toolbox, notice I've got the default colors. If you've got any other colors, press D on the keyboard to restore those default colors. We're now going to pick up the crop tool and with the crop tool selected, I'm also going to reverse out a little bit. So I'm going to press spacebar. Now I'm going to press Alt or Option and I'm just going to click down. That area there will be pretty good. I'm going to run the crop tool over our image. Okay, coming to the bottom center. I'm going to press and hold down Alt or Option, clicking on the grab handle, holding down Alt or Option, the top and the bottom are now going to come out equally. Let's take it to this sort of area there will do nicely. Still holding down Alt or Option, Coming to the side, grabbing that grab handle, pulling it out. Let's take it into this area there. Right, double clicking inside the frame, we'll apply it. Because we had white as our background color, it has now filled it with white. Well, when I say filled it with white, not strictly true, because if we switch these off, you can see there it is. We still have our image. To remove this, all you need to do is press and hold down shift on the keyboard. So press, hold down, shift on the keyboard. If you're using a PC, use backspace. If you're using a Mac, now press delete. So that's shift, backspace, shift, delete, brings up the fill layer. Use, click here, make sure you select 
white. Now click on OK and there it is, gone. Right, let's switch these panels back on. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the panels into place to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the Move tool. Coming down to Tool Options, we're also going to tick the Auto Select Layers because this can be really handy for this. So let's click on that Auto Select Layers, folding that down out of the way. Command 0, Control 0, let's go to Fit on Screen. Now when I come over the panels, notice the way you get a blue line going around there. So let's start with this one. I'm going to click down. It'll now jump from background layer to layer three. So this is now the live layer. Okay, for the next stage, what we're going to do is I'm going to press and hold down shift. I'm also going to come to the right hand arrow. So press, hold down shift. Now press the right arrow once it has jumped out 10 pixels. If you didn't hold down shift, it would only move out one pixel. So holding down shift, I'm still going to press the right arrow. So that's 10 pixels. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let's go to 100 pixels. Right, coming across to this panel here, clicking down, it's going to jump up to layer number one. Hold down shift, now press the left hand arrow. Once again, we're going to go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's now equal with the other panel. OK, let's give it a little bit of definition. By that, I mean a drop shadow. So let's come over to styles. We're going to come up to the top menu here. Let's go down to drop shadow and let's click on this one. Right. Come up to that little gear cog. We're going to click on this. This brings up the style settings, bringing my cursor over the panel. If I click down, we can now move our drop shadow around. I'm going to place it something like this will be pretty good. Let's come to size. Now the size is going to you see the way it fades it out. It seems to blur it out a little bit more. I think there that would look pretty good. OK, we're now going to go to OK. Right, coming up to the menu. Let's go to bevel. Let's have a look at a bevel for this. I'm going to zoom in a bit as well so we can actually see it. Pressing spacebar. Now I'm going to press command or control. In we zoom. Let's go to this area here so we can now see our full panel. Let's click on this one. See how that's going to work. Yeah, very small. But if we come up to the little gear cog here, coming down to bevel, there it is, five pixel. We can take it up and just looking at it. No. Not so keen on that one. Right, let's have a look at this one here. So clicking on the next, what you need to do though is click cancel. Right, let's go to this one. Let's go to, that looks probably better. Let's take a look now, moving it up from that default five pixels. And if I just take it up into this area here, there, just dropping it back a little bit there. I think that'll look okay. So let's click on okay. Next, we're gonna go back to layers. Now we just need to repeat the process to the other two, but there is a nifty shortcut. Press and hold down Alt or Option. So press, hold down Alt or Option. Come over the little effects icon. Now, because you're holding down Alt or Option, click on that effects, pull it down. And as you're pulling it down, notice the way your cursor has now changed to a double arrow. And you can see the word effects, bringing it down, releasing it on layer two. We've now copied that effects, press and hold it down, alter option, clicking on effects, dragging it down. We've now copied it to layer number three. Now, what I want to do with this is just change the angle slightly. So double click on effects. There it is, there's our drop shadow. I'm just gonna move it across. I'm gonna take it just slightly over the right hand edge, just dropping it down on the bottom. That will do. We're gonna click on okay. Let's go to the center one, double clicking on effects. And with this, I'm just going to move it. So the drop shadow is over the center, something like this here. Let's just increase the size of that drop shadow. You can just see it coming over both sides like this. That looks pretty good. Need to drop it down a little bit from the top as well. Just notice it coming over the top. Let's click on OK. So there you are. That is the story so far. However, yeah, it's looking a little bit bland with a white background. So let's click on our background layer. This is now our live layer. Now I found this brick wall on Pixbay and I just like the way the lighting was in the center here, a little bit dark in each of the corners, so a nice vignette with it. And I thought 
this could look really good. I've got the move tool. I'm going to click down as I lift it up. That move tool changes to a black arrowhead. Come up to the tab of our triptych. We've now gone over to the triptych, bringing it down. I'm going to press and hold down shift. So hold down shift. Now release your mouse button. Because you held down shift, it's placed it directly in the center. Next, to take this up in size, image, transform, free transform, command T or control T. That's command T, control T is the shortcut. Come into the top grab handle, that useful shortcut, alt or option. Press alt or option. There it is, the top, the bottom, and now coming out equally. Take it so it just goes a little bit over the edge. That's always handy. Right, releasing it, alter option, side grab handle, pulling it out, taking it to this area here, releasing it. There it is, job done. Bring your cursor inside the framework, double click in. Now it's job done, <laughs> right, looking at it. I think we can give the panels a little bit more distance. So clicking on our third panel here, this one, it's jumped straight up to layer number three. I'm going to press and hold down shift. I'm going to use the right hand arrow and I think I'm going to go out one, two, three, four. Let's go out five. Let's click on the panel here, jump straight to it, press and hold down alter option. Now using the left hand arrow on the keyboard, one, two, three, four, five. And there it is. Yes, that looks really good. Don't forget, you can also take them up and down should you want to. Press and hold down shift if you want to do this. So hold down shift. Because you're holding down shift, it keeps it on the vertical. And you could lift it up something like this. You come over to this panel, pressing that down. You could take this down. You could place it. You can do all sorts of bits and pieces. But I think we're going to leave it. Uh, let's have a look. Let's take, yeah, we'll leave it like that. There is our triptych. Go on, give it a try. It works on all different types of subjects. So have fun with it, experiment, see what you come up with. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come and click that little bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.